This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. So we're working on greeting this game, all right? We already have it, a lot of it, ready to rock. Look at the star, Hurrah! Let's see what we're doing now. Loop your item. Oh, okay, we're gonna loop the star. Now that your item is falling, you can add code to loop it back to the top. This is similar to what you did in the platform sprite, but the item sprite will loop back to a random XY location when it goes to the top of the screen. Create a loop items function that uses an if block to check whether the item sprite is off the bottom of the screen and then sends the item back to a random XY position just as it did when it was first created. Call the function inside the draw loop, run the code to test your sprite. All right, we need a loop item function to check whether it's off the screen. So I am going to go ahead and do show text because I'm going to use copy and paste for this. I'm going to scroll all the way down, 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 down to our loop platforms. It will be similar. So I'm going to highlight all this and right click. If you're on a Chromebook or laptop, to right click is probably separating your two fingers and pressing down at the same time. Okay. And then you can select copy as I just did. And then I'm going to select paste. Control C and Control V for copy and paste also work. Unless it's the Mac and then it's uh, Command C, Command V. All right. I don't want this platform, though. So I want this to be loop items. Okay. And then I need to get rid of this if, because I only have one item right now. If item, oh, not item. I named my item star, so the variable's name for me was star. If star is greater than four, if star's y property is greater than 415, so if it's off the screen, okay, if it is off the screen, then I want to reset it, and I might increase this because it's a bit wider possibly, um, then I want to, and I'll leave it, I want to reset it to what? Something random, it says. Back to a random x, y position. Okay, because up here we set it to a random position. So I need to whoop, grab a random, grab a random. And boom, I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Whoop. And then I'm going to go star dot x equals, and then I want to use random number again here. I'm going to switch back to blocks. Oh, I have an error. Oh, well, I haven't filled in the random numbers. Okay, okay. So what were my random numbers up here? For X, it's 50 to 350. And for Y, it's negative 30 to negative 60. Oh, and I flipped these. So X was, I'm going to switch that, X, Y. All right, let's look at blocks. There we are. So loop items, just like they asked, is my function. I then, if I check, I'm asking the computer, hey, is the stars Y greater than 415? So is it roughly off the screen? Because remember, four, zero Y is up here, 400 Y is down here. If it is, zoop, run this code. So if the computer checks that and says, yes, true, it is greater than 415, it drops down and runs the code in here, which resets it to these random numbers, the X and Y, puts it up here, and then it goes, once it hits the bottom of the function, it goes back to the draw loop and just keeps running the other code. Remember, functions do not run unless they are called. So unless you see the name of the function somewhere, it's not being used. Other than the draw loop, the draw loop always runs. But if I deleted show score here, our score wouldn't show even though we wrote the function. You have to call it, which I'm assuming, yep, call the function we need to do here. So to call this function, I'm going to put it right under loop platforms. So here's a function call. You just say the name. And this is loop items. And now let's test it out. And it works. Awesome. Run the code to test it. Yep. 
it works. So the main thing that I added, other than the function call up there, was this loop. Oh, what's it grumpy about? Oh, I'm missing a semicolon. There we are. Main thing I added was right here, loop items. Great, let's keep going.